So hey folks, I'm on Squirrel here today and I've got my two Lorentz graphs. I got a carbon and I got an HDS7. And when I initially start them up, matter of fact, ever since I bought them new, it was saying that there was an update available. Did I want to update? So I needed to get my Wi-Fi password off my internet. I need to be close enough to be able to download it. You're also going to need an SD card. So stick around. I'll show you exactly how to connect these units to the internet and how to update your unit so that you have the most current software that's offered by Lorance. Coming up. So I'm turning my unit on. I'm going to go ahead and accept these. Now it brings me straight to my map, which I always use got a couple of ways that I can go to getting my settings. I can either hit the power button or I can just go to pages and then hit that gear icon at the top left. And now when I get in my settings, scroll all the way to wireless, connect to the internet. I'm going to go to, this is mine right here. I'm going to enter my password. I'll go through it. Um, it's going to say on your modem, uh, your wireless modem, what it is unless you changed it. It should be initially a bunch of numbers and characters. And it's, and it's probably going to be case sensitive. Okay. Enter. I want to remember it. I'm not going to say connect automatically because most of the time I'm not going to be within, um, within range of it. So I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. I've got that taken care of. So I'm going to click on my pages button, I'm going to hit the gear, go to my settings, I'm going to scroll down and go to about. When I bring that up, that's all the information, version 20.1, it shows application, it's got a bunch of information on here about the hardware and all that stuff. In order to check to see if there's an update available, just hit support, or don't hit it, but tap it, tap support. And then it says create report or check system for updates. We're going to check system for updates. And then last check it says there are updates available for this network. Some can be downloaded directly. It says update available. So I got to connect. What I have to do is put in an SD card. Please insert SD card. So there is an update available for. The HDS 7 and it's saying there's an update available for the HDS Carbon 12. So let's um, let's insert an SD card and see what happens. So I'm going to open up my little door. I'm going to insert the card. And it doesn't matter which card slot. I do have to insert it the right way. But there's two card slots. I'm just going to put it in card one. I'm going to download. And we're still downloading. It's slow, but it's going. But what do those updates do? Probably takes care of bugs that are in the system or adds extra features. But whatever Lawrence is pushing is to make their product better. So I want the latest version running on these units. These mini computers. We still got a connection. It's still going. We're close on the seven. Guys, what's funny is I have an Ethernet cable that's linking these two. I got my 12 on that's right here. 
and it's saying that the available version is 20.3 and that it's up to date. That's what I'm running on it. But here on this, it says current version 20.3, available version 22.1. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that to the seven. And we'll come back as soon as this thing downloads. So now that it's finished downloading the software update on the seven, which is this unit, um, it's finished downloading. It will be uh, applied the next time you restart the device. Do I want to restart? Yes. Go ahead and restart. Validating update. And it's just giving me a prompt that I'm installing the update. Please wait. Do not turn off during the update as this may damage your device, which I do not want to do. Rebooting now. And it all should be good. Let's see. Old updated transfer files found. Would you like to delete the old transfer files from the SD card? Yes. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm going to accept. Get off of this screen. Yeah, I'll do it another time. And I'm going to go back and see if we have the new update installed. It was the 20.3 update. Actually, actually no, it was a 20.1. So I go systems, about, support. See, now I'm in version 22.1. And it shows you that, uh, well, that was last check, but it, it's updated, it's 22.1 is what uh, the HDS7, so it's listed under up to date.